Peggy for CropStop.com and I have got a new embossing folder that I want to share with you and show you the quick little card I came up with and just kind of refresh your memory about some of the different things you can do with embossing folders. This is from Ultimate Crafts and it's from the Allura collection called Feathered Flourish. So it's really cool because it's a flourish and so you can use it for a lot of things. I after I made this little card that I'm going to show you, I also thought this would be really cool to put a butterfly, just emboss it and put a butterfly right in the middle and call it a card. So let me just show you what I came up with here. One of the things that I've been very involved with lately, let me bring this in so you can see a little bit better, are tags. And so what I decided to do is bring out a lot of my embossing folders. I set them in a tray and I just try using them because I have hundreds and I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of embossing folders. I'm addicted to embossing folders and paper and ink and rubber stamps and well just about everything. So anyway, I embossed just the top of this and I have a, a punch that makes the bird and I just put on there thinking of you. I found some cardstock with the little clouds which I thought would be perfect. Let me back out now just a little for you. And there you are. I'm going to make that my card. Isn't that just cute? cute little tag using your embossing folder a little bit different. Now I did use ink to kind of color that up a little bit and I tried putting the bird on just white but it just didn't work so I liked this better. So that's one way to use your embossing folder. Now another way and I'm just going to show you here really quick is to just use a hunk. So this actually I embossed the whole piece like so. Then I took my ink, which is the Mem Memento New Sprout ink, and I did paper to ink pad to paper. And then I just tore it, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'll use that as a card front. So you don't have to use the whole entire thing. So that was another idea. Then what I wanted to show you, some of you might have forgotten, and let me back out here a little bit so I don't break your eyeballs here. I have my little texture boutique. And I've got my embossing folder and my piece of paper in there. And I'm just going to run this through really quick. Now, I still have my cuddle bugs. Actually, I still have three of them. Oops. Um, but what I've been doing is keeping my cuddle bugs set up to do die cutting and my big shot. And I leave this over there just so I can do embossing folders. And it's lightweight, so it's like super simple to use. All right, let me bring this back in for you so you can see what we're doing. All right, so there's my embossed piece. Stick these over here. And then there's my embossing. Just check out how nicely these emboss. I love when I get an embossing folder that really gives me some dimension. Some of them I've had in the past I had to add shims to, which is okay, but I'd rather not have to. So I think I'll just go ahead and since it's a flourish, I just want to remind everybody that it's so easy to use the ink pad to the embossing folder and you just rub it over. Can you see it? Isn't that cool? So, there you are. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So I have a totally different look from the same embossing folder on my tag, on my green. There we go. All of them are different using the same folder. So make sure you pull your embossing folders out and play with them a little bit and do some fun different things with them. You might as well get your money's worth. That's what I always say. Make sure to stop over there to CropStop.com and tell them Peggy sent you. Bye.